Kate Middleton is looking regal in an iconic tiara at her first state banquet as Princess of Wales. The 40-year-old royal sported her first tiara in nearly three years at Buckingham Palace on Tuesday, during the first state visit of King Charles's reign. It is also the first state visit the royal family has hosted since the coronavirus pandemic started in 2020. For the occasion, Kate wore Queen Mary's Lover's Knot tiara as she helped welcome the President of South Africa, Cyril Ramphosa, to the UK. She paired it with a white caped Jenny Packham gown adorned with shimmering beading. Her choice of accessories for the evening were all very meaningful. The Lover's Knot tiara was a favorite of her late mother-in-law, Princess Diana, and she also wore earrings that belonged to the royal. Kate also donned a bracelet from Queen Elizabeth's jewelry collection. She finished the stunning look with the Royal Family Order and the Dame Grand Cross of the Royal Victorian Order Star and Sash. Prince William looked dapper in a suit with the Garter Star, the Thristle Star, and three medals for Queen Elizabeth's three jubilees that he was a part of. When the late monarch died in September, Will became first in line to the throne after his father, Charles, who is now king. Access Hollywood spoke with DailyMail.com's Charlie Langston about how Will and Kate are gearing up to one day be the head of the monarchy. Kate and William are really kind of stepping up to the plate as far as leading the monarchy. Now, William is not the next in line to the throne. His father, Prince Charles, is going to be the next monarch in the United Kingdom. However, William and Kate are very much already in that kind of waiting in the wings role where they are both very much aware that they will be on the throne probably you know not too far in the future i think they both know that prince charles is not a young spring chicken he's not the age that elizabeth was when she became queen and i don't think anyone is expecting prince charles to sit on the throne for decades and decades to come he will absolutely take on the role because he has been waiting his entire life to become king but i think that his reign in comparison with the Queen's, we very short-lived. William and Kate are already not acting as though they are already the leaders of the monarchy, but they are taking on a huge amount of responsibility, not just in terms of public engagements, but also in terms of the way in which the monarchy is run. They're making small but very important changes, opening up the monarchy to a more modern point of view, not perhaps in a way that is noticeable every single day, but bit by bit, they have kind of helped the monarchy to evolve, to kind of embrace new traditions, and to kind of maintain the important heritage of the past, while also kind of saying, okay, a few of the things that we used to do are seen as being very stuffy. They are very stuffy. Here are ways where we can kind of maintain the tradition behind these things, without making it appear as though we are completely ignorant to what the rest of the world is doing and how they're living.